go. What's going on guys? Dragon Lucifer here and we are going to be doing an unboxing on the Horizon Forbidden West Regalia Edition. Now, first thing I gotta say, this thing is heavy. Pick this box up and this thing is actually heavy than my little husky puppy you guys seen on the uh, thumbnail. So yeah, this is quite a stout box. Um, beautiful artwork here. This is the uh, upper tier collector's edition. There is a slightly smaller box that is white. Uh, I believe it was $199 over at GameStop. Um, you can't even order this one at GameStop anymore. So got in early, got it, picked it up. Got the best of the best for you guys. Um, but this is a very beautiful piece. Um, we are going to flip it around here. And we're gonna take a look at the back. Now the big difference here is the war elephant that you see here is actually quite a bit more detailed than the one in the other collector's edition box. Uh, you do see there down to the left underneath it, the Aloy figurine, uh, the DLC content that you're getting there. Uh, it also comes with a steel book and a digital or an art book, a um, bunch of lore. I believe Aloy's earpiece is also sitting there from what I can see. So definitely a very, very beautiful setup. Uh, very big collector's edition. And look at this artwork on the back. This box is impressive. So I'm gonna go ahead and get the knife. Give me just a second, I shift around. Yeah. And we're gonna open up the side. Now I'm hoping I don't have to open up both sides, but get this open and this one here and I got the one on the bottom so we didn't have to flip it already so we're gonna go ahead and open this up from the side nice and careful and we have another very large box so unfortunately we are gonna have to flip this in just a second I know in the way but I want to get the edges of the box here. Got a little vacuum effect going on. And I do try and save my boxes, so that's why I'm being very careful with this. Try not to tear it up too much to get it off. So, that was just the outside box. So we'll set that down to the side. Put that under here at the table. And look at this. Look at this gorgeous, full, all sides imagery here. Got an Aloy here. We have the elephant. You got, it looks like our new flyer. And it's, this does travel all the way around. We got some of the new creatures and I am not seeing a seam here so it looks like we're going to be able to lift pretty much straight up so that good image there and can I just take that in for a minute that is just impressive so we will see about this bottom piece and there is the beast so this is the side. So here we have the war elephant. Now we'll get this out of the plastic here in a second, but just look at how good this is packaged here. We got a couple of different accessory pieces stashed away. Um, some tail pieces, obviously this thing is massive. Um, I would say at least 12, maybe 18 inches standing. Now on the bottom here, we have a drawer. We're gonna open up this drawer first, slide this out, and we'll set him aside. We'll get to him in a minute. So this is the art book and the steel book case. Now I do know that they were talking about, and the same artwork we see on the box on the case, that this was gonna be a digital content copy.
So the one thing about this is there's no disc. So obviously digital content kind of sucks not having the physical copy, but this is still a very nice steel book for what it is. So like I said, same artwork, very good construction, very quality steel book. As far as the art book here goes, um, this is going to be an interesting one. So we get some pictures of landscapes here. Um, some of the different areas we'll be kind of exploring through the game. This great shot of what appears to be San Francisco here. Um, do see some like pagoda type Chinatown stuff, some underwater activities from some new creatures. Um, just in general, I mean, all this is all the machine world stuff. So we do have still some of the stuff, the war scars, stuff like that. But overall, this book is flat out amazing. And as far as the Aloy goes, we have a standard loadout of weapons. Pretty much a lot of the stuff we've seen in the first game. Some new stuff, but we also get some more of this, uh, different costumes with the Nora, some of her holsters. Um, some of the different tribes that we're getting in here. So the Utar is a tribe we're going to meet. Uh, the Quen looks like a seafaring tribe. But uh, yeah. Overall, I honestly looking at this, we got some arena type stuff going on here it looks like. So overall, I think we're going to see some very interesting stuff in the book. Now I am flipping through it pretty fast, but I want to get some of the smaller stuff. But yeah, very nice book, kind of real similar to our current style. Oh, great cover, by the way. So I believe under here is our figurines. Now get the camera in a little bit closer on these. You see we do have the earpiece. Um, it looks like it is wearable. Um, this looks like a, almost like a wooden arrow. We do have... Uh, couple other figurines now these feel either very well painted or possibly even metal they're sharp so yeah definitely plastic but in polymer but you know they feel like metal they look like metal so there's those um we have these cards now i wasn't sure exactly what these were but um you got aloy here get this popped open for you guys so in just a second so you do have these very nice cards now these look standard black background or white background but you got the feather it's got our staff in the middle of it so these are great little pieces too now as far as the rest i believe this got a lot of chemical stuff in there is actually a fabric world map so this is actually on fabric this is a piece of fabric so real similar to what Aloy would use kind of a piece of hide or whatnot but it's definitely just a fabric like a cotton knit but here we have all the different tribe locations where everything kind of lays out Kind of how it get a good expanse of the world map that we're dealing with here. But also very nice because it's fabric. We don't have to worry about if we get the tack pins out and, you know, post it up on the wall. About it breaking down and degrading. A lot of the poster ones that are paper, you stick tack pins in them a couple of times. They're no good. This is fabric. It should stand up for quite a while. So very good craftsmanship here. Very good thought. So I'm going to fold that back up. Try to anyways. The way it was wrapped in there. The camera's looking at the war elephant. <laughs> Somebody's really got a love for that war elephant. And I believe that should be everything in this piece. Yeah, it looks like it. So we'll go ahead and set this back down in here. Set our cards back down, our maps, stuff like that. I will put most of the stuff back in plastic when we are done, just to keep it nice. But for now, we'll set these back in here.
and go ahead and finish up with the drawer. And obviously, we'll keep the game disc out because we need that. But we'll set the drawer back in here. It's actually pretty smooth going back in. So now we have this monster. Now, I'm not sure on how many places it's taped, but I know it's taped. So, give me a second. And we will move this forward. Go ahead and come over here. Can I get my camera person's way? And find the second one. It will slide all the way out. And you can see it's even got soft paper underneath it to protect the base. So, you got some real fine paper underneath. So, get that out of here. And even the back of this, you got your instruction manual. But look at the back of this. Look at how impressive this is. This is just behind the war elephant. You wouldn't even see this. So... We do have what looks like instructions on how to assemble our fun little creature here. We're probably not going to do that, but we will see how it goes. So I'll move this piece over here and we'll put it down on the ground. I'm getting old. <laughs> Let's go ahead and separate out the plastic and get we lost the box so we do have a few pieces here that are just miscellaneous stuff but take a look at this monstrosity got the little dudes up there kind of the raider type stuff But once again, um, very well constructed. Sorry, I had to stop for a second. I was trying to get this stuff out. But there's our little Aloy figurine. Um, very tiny, very delicate, but very detailed. I mean, impressive detail on it. Looks like she's right out of the game and she's, you know, compared to the war elephant, which is, you know, 10, 11, 12 inches tall, she is definitely scaled, possibly more. Um, the other pieces in the box that we've seen are some of the armatures. You see them here. Um, some of the attachment parts that I did leave one of them in the box. Um, up there just so I knew which one went where but um yes this is very very beautiful piece and we will go ahead and uh, rotate it get a nice hind end view kind of see all the little wood and stuff in here all the little you know very intricately detailed gears and rivets and you know connection points all throughout here so but yes, very detailed. You got the fingers on the guys are not, you know, they're not all one color. You've got different color scales depending on them. Um, you have different mass paint work. So yes, this is definitely a very interesting creature. And like I said, this is the bulk of the weight in this package. This thing is insane. So looks like you got a little skull thing in there. A couple more armature pieces. But overall, um, let me know what you guys think. I'm going to kick some stuff out of the way, get our little box back up here. Kind of just a comparison. But yeah, that is our Horizon Forbidden West Regalia Collector's Edition. Very amazing piece. Beautiful piece of artwork, worth every penny, that's for sure. Um, the sheer detail on the figurines and everything else is so impressive. Even the ground underneath them is just amazing. So if you guys are looking at stuff and you wanted to see what 
you know, a massively huge expensive collector's edition looks like. This is definitely what it looks like. This is how you do it right. These guys definitely took their time and they did what they needed to do. Um, I have the Final Fantasy VII Remake Collector's Edition for the first game. I can tell you even Cloud's motorcycle did not impress me as much as the way this box and everything came packaged. And that was shipped straight from Square Enix. So this one is a good one. Anyways, guys, um, I will be doing some playthrough stuff on this shortly after this video is uploaded. Uh, once I get everything set up with the PlayStation 5. So that will be Friday's stream. Uh, remember, if you like this and you want to see more content like this, like, subscribe, comment. But otherwise, thanks for coming out with me, checking out this unboxing. I am Dragon Lucifer. Thanks for gaming with me. I'll see you guys next time.